expect him to get. It's the performance Man United needed, and, and Eric Ten Hag got that spot on. Because on the back of the result that United had recorded, losing to Bournemouth in the manner in which they did at Old Trafford, yeah. missing out to the Champions League last season, losing at, at uh, Old Trafford against Bayern Munich. The results haven't been kind and great to United. Performance haven't gone along with it as well. So when you're going to Anfield, um, Liverpool are opening a new section, seven more thousand fans coming yeah. through, having had the approval. You're expecting the atmosphere to be charged, and it looked like that in the first 10 minutes. But what United did afterwards was to quiet the whole place. And what Eric Ten Hag also needed to do was not to go there feeling pompous. And I remember last season, before United got to Anfield, they had a decent run of games. They looked like they were in some good form. And I think that rubbed off their heads a little bit, thinking they could go to Anfield and use that form to overcome Liverpool. They actually tried that in the first 42 minutes or so, where okay. they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool until Gakpo scored the goal, and the second half was a disaster for Manchester United. But this time around, they're going into that game knowing that they are not in form. So they needed to play as the underdogs, as they were going into the fixture, not leaving up unnecessary spaces. So Kobimane and Amrabat are proper DMs in that game. They are not trying anything fanciful. Amrabat is not trying to be the third man running into the box. Mane is not trying to be a number Everybody eight. Number six. He's, he's a proper defender. And one thing that also helped the coach, Eric Ten Hag, is probably the injuries he has in the team. Mm -hmm. Because he played proper defenders as the two centre-backs. They, the, Varane and um, Evans were proper defenders on the yeah. day. They, Put it they, this way, traditional centre. Yes, the traditional. They were defending the box. There was nothing fanciful about it. It wasn't about when another has the ball, find an angle for him. No, no, no. It was about keeping that box tight. And I like Evans and Varane because they controlled Shaw and Dalo in where to be. And anytime they camped in that in that box, it was so tight. Liverpool couldn't find anything going for them. But the other side is Liverpool were disappointing. Because uh, if it's at, it's at Anfield and against my United team and you want to win the Premier League, these are the games you find a way of winning. Yeah. And apart from Mohamed Salah, who at times when he got the ball, it looked like he could make something happen. We didn't see enough of Diaz. Darwin Nunes was disappointing. And sometimes they need to come to the party a lot more when Salah is not doing it. Otherwise, these are the games that they might not be winning, especially if they can't find that X factor. So Liverpool created decent chances, but those were headers that Van Dijk couldn't take, Konate couldn't take. But in the end, United will be happy uh, with a point, you know, from Anfield. Maybe not necessarily a confidence booster, but, but something that tells them that they can, at times, in these games where they've lost by huge margins, just stay in the game. And, the way, and those moments came for Eric Ten Hag's team to win the game. I don't know what you think, but... They did. They, I, I think the way Hoyland, they set themselves Hoyland up. in particular. Yeah. I, I actually think that Hoyland's chance was the best chance in the entire match. Yeah. Probably was. was just, not just yeah. for Man United. And, and, I, and, and if he trusted his body alignment a little bit, just when the ball was arriving, yeah. the way he had opened himself up, I can't believe that he tried to drag the ball to his weaker side. If he had gone with his left foot, with the way he had opened himself up, I'm sure he beats Alisson. Ganacho also got into a very good space from the pass from Main, but I thought his first touch was good, but he didn't just use his body well enough. But once he got that first touch away for Trent, I'm thinking, get yourself between the ball and the defender. If he's going to make a tackle, he has to go through you. Yeah. But because he didn't just get himself between the ball and the defender, there was the opening for Arnold to, to poke the ball. But it was great recovery by Alex and Arnold. But ultimately, United will be happy and pleased. Liverpool will be disappointed. There were big individual winners in this match for Man United, weren't they? Yeah. Until they being won. Obviously. How is he one? He's, he's a forward player, he's a winger, and you're going to praise him for defending. Play him at left back then. No, no, see, true. You see, you this, know, is, you see this, is, this is where. No, if you're going no, to. No, no, you, no. you, you, you just see, explained that they went to do a job. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you. He contributed to that job. Look, say Massively. So, fact, he, was a, so he wasn't oh, a winner. You can't no, he classify that. Uh, you can't uh, classify that as a winner. It shows that at least he's willing to work for the team. Look, you. you no, see, true. You judge a, you judge a player. Yeah by the assignment he's given. You don't judge a player yeah. by a conventional... By his conventional role. Yeah. Obviously, in that match, every in this United game, was attacker was asked to defend. Yes. And he did really Including well. even the Because had he not done, done the job... And you see, look, this is more than the football. These things go hand in hand. So, wait, wait. You're, you going, can't, you're going to praise... Before you go, we're sorry, praising him going to, for contributing to Man United's I, I, overall... I'll take that. But when you classify that as... 
he was as a, a big win. Yes, a big but he's a willing win. worker. No, but is he... If he classified as a big win, then that is where no. I'm asking. That's that's what I'm if saying. you're that's praising that's... his work rate in that game, I have no qualms. That's what I'm saying. Let's, let's have fine. to praise his work rate. Even, no, work even, rate though, even on the offensive. That's fine. Let's look at the chances United created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a part of them. He was. And that, you see, fair, point. So, fair point. So yeah. when you look at the assignment that was presented towards Man yeah. United, the game plan that was put together, he was definitely a winner because he was. I thought he was really good on the day. And for me, it's a discipline. It's a discipline of the players and then the manager also. Because some of these trends that we had seen to, uh, throughout the season yeah. did not manifest in this game. And I think that's where I'll sort of side with Sicho and say, maybe the injuries helped Man United. Maybe. Because had some of those injuries not been there... And the suspension maybe... And the know. suspensions, United may have been Let tempted you to, the to be a bit... Say, so you think, for example, the absence of Bruno Fernandes helped this team? Not necessarily. Mm. I think... If Bruno was available, I would not be surprised if we saw McTominay and either Amrabat or Menu as a double pivot and then uh, Bruno. And I don't think they, it would have given United the solidity that they right. needed. Right. But maybe if Bruno was fit also, we still could have had those two players. That more. is, and, no, yeah, that is as in Menu and Amrabat. And maybe he would have benched right. McTominay. You never really know. But look, United should have won this game. The Liverpool possession was noisy. Aside the set piece or opportunities from Van Dijk and there was a Konate in the second yeah. They didn't do much. They them. didn't really test Onana where chances were even not, Onana's saves were not world class. Yeah. They were simple. They were, the clearest one was even probably the one straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Yeah. 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 it over. That's not... So for me when I look at the, it. When I look yeah. at how especially in the last 20 minutes the way United had several counter-attacking opportunities and you could tell that look it was almost like United didn't want to take the risk. But it's one of those games that if you felt that if United were a bit on form and that confidence was there, yeah. they could have taken the risk and gone on to... Let me put it this way. It was, if it were at Ole United, they would have won. Yeah. I, I, I really believe so. Because, because me, the way Ole won most of those matches yeah. against Man City, it was exactly yeah. like that in those kind of situations. In the last, in the last the five... In better confidence. In the last five or six years, I think it's like the worst Liverpool offensive performance against a Man United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was that blunt. And I always say this, if you, from an analytical point of view, watch the game again. Yeah. There are no point in the game, if you are for Liverpool, would you feel like you were threatening? At no point in the game, if you were for Man U, would you feel yeah. threatened? You had to stifle them from it was, it was, every opportunity. They didn't get any... I think maybe the, the only... <laughs> <laughs> the Konate 10, huh? that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was that was, that was yeah. But it went straight down the middle. Exactly, but even that. And I agree with Daniel 100%. Liverpool, uh, they felt very disappointed. And that's why Virgil van Dijk's comments were deemed very arrogant by Roy Keane. He Wasn't says, it? He says only one team. It was, it was very silly of him. And, 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 I, and I think he copies that from his manager. From his, exactly. Klopp says that all the time. I don't get yeah, it. You want, you want everybody to come to Anfield and play the when ways you want them to play. When, when my United are they are really struggling and they don't have the results to go There's with it. There's not even one way to play football. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 but, no, but first, this, this even the club knows this. When they played against Spurs in the Champions League final, mm -hmm. and Liverpool got that early goal over Salah's penalty. Liverpool were not interested in playing the football again. We saw it. Yeah, Spurs, saw. That, that Liverpool team was back, times two better than Spurs. But on the night, yeah. Poch's team dominated possession because Liverpool didn't want to play. Yeah. In the end, they won it. And that is why... Diego Simeone is 11 years at Atletico and going. There's only not, there's not <laughs> one way to play football. And it is proving successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, 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 they've won La Liga twice. Uh, they've been to two Champions League finals. So if you, Look, if you put down defensive-minded coaches, I can bet you that they've won either equal or more trophies than... Those especially in this, in this modern day... Exactly. Era. No, but fact, for, for the attack-minded coaches, only Pep has been... Ultra successful. Boga, you say you open and play. Play your team. <laughs> if you are that good, come and break. Brother. No, come on, Chelsea. Yeah. Jackie right. Liverpool, and we saw it. Okay.